Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to an up-to-date video on me ranking every single actor that has played my favourite evil Time Lord, known as the Master. Now, I'm going to say this, there's only 10 actors on this, there is like 11, but the only thing I've not added James Dolphus as the actual Master, because I haven't heard anything from his audio series yet with him with David Bradley as the first Doctor, or him with Frieza Hines as the second Doctor. And I haven't really listened to the Psychic Circus yet, with the Master basically being the whole plot, and McCoy's there. So I kind of do need... So I do kind of need to listen to them. So, ranking 10 actors that have played the Master. Now, some of these actors are brilliant. All of these actors are brilliant, even in Big Finish. But I'm going by from what I've seen and listened to, so... Do forgive me that Jerry Jacoby is pretty low in the list because I haven't actually listened to any of the War Master stuff yet, which is on the list. Don't worry, that is definitely on the list. So I thought I'd talk about some of the Masters I've actually seen on screen and what I've listened to and what I personally think which Masters deserve to be the highest Masters. So let me just get my list and let's dive into it. So in number 10, it is Peter Pratt as the decaying Master from 1976, The Deadly Assassin. Yeah, Peter Pratt's master doesn't really do much. I mean, the whole point of it, be, the master being the master, you know, yeah, he is manipulating the offence in the story, but he's, like, shown in little clips in between episodes one, two, and three, and then episode four, he's the main visual villain, where really it's like Chancellor Gloth is basically the main villain from the rest of the story from the seat of the, out of the serial. It's not a great... Master performance, yeah, okay, the Master does try and renew himself with an extra new regeneration cycle by stealing the power of the Eye of Harmony, which is actually stopped by the Fourth Doctor. But I just can't really say anything more than that for Peter Pratt. Number nine is, is Eric Roberts, the Master from the TV movie, and he has actually introduced himself into Big Fish, I think, around about 2017-18 time. Now, I haven't listened to any of his Big Finish performances fully. I have listened to a few clips that are on YouTube because he made his very, very first full debut in Big Finish in the Diary of River Song, season, Series 5. I still need to listen to that. And, of course, he has fought against the 8th Doctor in Reverse's uh, fourth box set, which I'm quite looking forward to really listen to, going into listen to that one soon. Eric Roberts, for me, is not a brilliant master going from his TV performance, but from a few clips what I've listened to on YouTube, he's actually a lot better in audio. So I do really want to dive into his audio series as the master. I really think he could be a good master because in the movie, he's very campy-ish. He's not a great actor to play the master, but I think in Big Finish, he might be better. Number eight, it is Derek Jacobay. Now, this master is the war incarnation the master. I have read bits about him. I have listened to a few clips on YouTube, like Eric Roberts, but I need to dive into his actual full-on series as the war master. I mean, they've done nine, ten seasons with him as the war master. I do need to dive into it. So, going by his performance in the Utopia, I do enjoy it. I mean, I do like the way how he opens the fob watch, gets the es essence of the master back into him, and he does kill Chanvo, going, Oh, don't worry, my dear. If one door opens, another one must open. And I like the way how he goes, Killed by an insect. A girl. How inappropriate. But still, if the doctor can be young and strong, then so can I. The master. Reborn. And the way he literally leans back and regenerates into John Sims' master is brilliant. But the thing is, though, I have to put him solo because people have put him really, really high in the list. But that's because they've listened to Big Finish a lot. But I'm only, only early this year, back in March, I only just dived into Big Finish a lot more than previous years. And I have to say, I do really need to dive into the Derek Jacobi's War Master side a bit more. So at the moment, he's in eighth place. I am sorry to upset anybody about that. Number seven, it is Jeffrey Beavers. Yes, the other actors to play the decaying master on TV screen in back in 1981 in The Keeper of Trocken. And of course, he's played the master in Big Finish. Now, going by what I've heard from Big Finish, which is basically the light at the end, it's really, really brilliant. I absolutely love the fact we have all eight doctors having to fight one version of the master, and that's the decaying master, which is set basically somewhere in the Master's timeline between the Deadly Assassin and Keeper of Trakum. I have to admit, Jeffrey Beavers' master is pretty good. I really do enjoy his performance in that story and in Keeper of Trakum as well, where he literally reveals himself as 
the master in tr Keeper Trockery goes to the doctor. Well, doctor, of course, the master. Welcome to my new ship, doctor. I really do like the way Jeff D. Beavers plays that incarnation of the master. It's brilliant, it's superb, and just epic, truly epic. Number six is, of course, John Sim as the master. Now, people will probably rather put John Sim in sixth place. Well, I would have put him a bit higher. I have to admit, I would have actually put him a bit higher, but the end of time kills his master for me, which is why he's in sixth place, because the end of time does kill it, but the only reason that brooks him up into eighth place, into sixth place, sorry, it's got to be World of a Time and Doctor Falls two-parter in Series 10 because John Sim is amazing in that two-parter series. He's one of the best things about it. And I really do enjoy his performance in Series 3 and Series 10, then the end of time, which is 10th finale as the 10th Doctor. Now he's back as the 14th Doctor. Will he meet, will he meet the Master in the three specials? Hard to say. But I have to admit, John Sim as the master, he's got that very creepiness of the master in him as well. And I really do enjoy him, like the way he creates a sonic laser instead of having the tissue manipulator. I have to admit, I do like him in Series 3 from when we kind of see him at the end of Utopia up to the last of the Time Lords. And then I really do love that tri master trilogy because we do get two versions of the master. I really do enjoy him in Series 10 as well with him and Michelle Gomez's incarnations as the, as, as the character. The way they both just throw, like, I would say insults at each other because it's not very much like the Doctor. They're, like, very much, you know, the Master does basically fall in love with his female self. And he goes, is it wrong that I uh, fancy like that? And, and you know he's going to say, is it wrong that I actually fancy myself? And she goes, yes, quite so. <laughs> I do really like John Sim's performance as the master, but I'm saying this. The only thing he's lacking sixth place is because the end of time really does kill his master off for me, and I just don't like the end of time for that. Number five. Now, this one is going to be brilliant. It is Michelle Gormas' performance as Missy, the first female incarnation of the master, who's basically first portrayal of the master back in 2014 up to 2017 on screen but since then she's appeared in a number of big finish audios against the eighth doctor against river song even bumping into other incarnations of herself so i really do like michelle gormas's performance as missy with capaldi they have such a dynamic i need to listen to her performance with mcgann listen to missy and the eighth doctor see what that's kind of like i do like missy with the 12th doctor I have to admit, with her on screen, it's brilliant. I do like Series 8, the way she, she reveals herself to be... I couldn't keep calling myself the master, now could I? I really like the way how Michelle McGormas really knocked us onto that line. I couldn't keep calling myself the master, now could I? And I had a whole feeling for Series 8 that she was going to be the Irani. I really thought it was going to be the return of the Irani. But no, it's the return of the master in female form, which is pretty cool. You know, it's devastating it's not the Irani, because I do want the Irani to return. I really want the Irani to turn, to return. But Michelle Gomez really put something in perspective of the role as the master. I really do like her performance. Honestly, it's just top notch. And she's my second favourite modern Who incarnation of the master. I mean, honestly, she's my second favourite from New Who. So, jumping into number four, it is Alex McQueen, who has played the Master from 2014 to 2021 in Big Finish. I absolutely love Alex McQueen's performance as the Master in Dark in Dark Eyes. It's a brilliant series, and he's literally one of the best things about the series. The way him and Paul McGann literally have that Doctor Master-like moments that really do bounce off each other. It's absolutely superb. I really do like Alex McQueen's performance as the Master. I really wish we have him as the TV master at some point. Or like I have a multi-master episode where the Doctor basically sees different versions of the master. I would like to see Alex McQueen just come into the role for the TV on, for, on screen. I really like his performance as the master literally in Dark Eyes. Absolutely brilliant. I have ordered myself the two masters, which has got him and Jeffrey Beavers in it versus... The Seventh Doctor, and I will be doing an unboxing video for that one, and then my review will be on that one pretty soon because I am really dying to listen to that one. How good that's going to be to to incarnate the Master against my second favorite incarnation of the Doctor. 
I really do like Alex McQueen. He really brings something new to the role. It's epic. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. The way him and McGann like really do bounce off each other with their math doctor and masterish, very much like vibes from Anthony Ainley and Peter Davison or John Pertwee with Roger DeGardo. It's like really like that. It's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant the way Alex McQueen plays the master. And to be honest with you, it's so far, he's literally my favourite Big Finish Master. Not my favourite Master in general. He's literally in fourth place. But I really do like him in Big Finish. And I can't wait to dive into more stories with Alex McQueen as the Master. Because I really think he's brilliant and superb. Number three. We go into Modern Who now. And this is my favourite incarnation of the Master from Modern Who. It's Sasha Dewan. I'm sorry to say this. Anybody that hates the Whitaker era, hates the Chitnut era, but Sasha Dewan is one of the best things about it. I absolutely love his performance in The Power of the Doctor we had back on the 23rd of October. And I've watched it 22 times now. And I've literally got the Blu-ray pre-ordered. I'm waiting for the... Which is going to be coming out in two weeks' time. I just really cannot wait. I love The Power of the Doctor. I love Sasha Dewan's incarnation of the Master. And I'm really looking forward to having his own big finish series, hopefully next year. I'm really looking forward to listen listen to that Sasha Dewan back as the master. I really do enjoy his performance. He's a lot better than John Sim, and I just, I'm sorry to say he really brings in classic master details. Now, saying that, why do you think I say that? Well, because in the Power of the Doctor, where you do see him like use his the power of the eyes to hypnotize people, like Roger Degardo does. I really like the way that was. I really had. The Gardo vibes. And then when you watch series 12, like The Timeless Children and Spyfall, I really had Anthony Ainley vibes coming from his master. And he really is such a brilliant actor. I really enjoyed his performance as the master in Spyfall's part one and two, The Timeless Children. It was the best thing about it, I have to admit. And then, of course, The Power of the Doctor. I just, he goes from when we see him, like a little bit insane and a little bit Tetris. And when we get to The Power of the Doctor, he's ultimate insane. It's brilliant. It's superb. And I really love the way he's like energetic in the role. Like the way he literally steals the Doctor's regeneration to, to make the, the Master Doctor. I really enjoyed that because, it, again, like in the. Keep it up track. The Master was planning on jumping into the fourth Doctor's body so he can renew himself. I really get like classic vibes there. And he's also the one to return the tissue manipulator from classic Doctor Who. A weapon that was used by Ant um, Anthony Ainley's incarnation. You know, Jeffrey Beaver's incarnation. The Peter Pratt incarnation of the Master in the... Deadly Assassin, and even Roger DeGardo, man. I really get so many vibes from classic masters, and it's brilliant. And that dance scene from The Power of the Doctor, I just really love the way that is, because I get, like, Sasha Del um John Sim vibes for that, when we kind of see the Doctor, like, the master with the doc with the old 10th Doctor in the wheelchair singing, I cannot decide if you will live or ever die. But when you got that Rasputin song playing and the Masters is there dancing and you got the Cybermen and the Daleks just looking at each other and the Masters is there getting totally carried away with the song. I just absolutely genuinely love it. It's such a brilliant scene. And of course, he does kill Jodie Whittaker's incarnation of the Doctor because he does try to use the Tishimi Lipopa on the little powerful thing, which does knock the 13th Doctor out, which basically does is the course of her regeneration. Sasha the One is my favourite incarnation of the Master for Modern Who. Now, for a very long time, it was Michelle Gormas. So I am sorry to say this. I really prefer Sasha the One's incarnation over to Michelle Gormas's version. I really do like that. I'm really looking forward to his big finish audio. Number two is, of course, the original actor to play the Master. Roger DeGardo from 1971 to 1973. I absolutely love this. Now, this Master, unfortunately, did the Roger DeGardo did had a sadly passing away before he could actually come back to play the master in series 11 but the one thing i have to say about his master i absolutely loved it honestly i absolutely really enjoys i really do enjoy his performance in season eight because that's what i call a master season because season eight is literally all the he's in every single story i love tell the autons i love the mind of evil claws of axos is just superb and amazing and i really do love Connor in space a little bit. Even though the Masters are showing from episode 4, 5 and 6. And he's not in the first three episodes. I just don't really... I don't really care for Connor in space. But he's the best thing about Connor in space. And I do like the demons. Where he's there calling a cell going... A cell! A cell! 
destroy him and you will give your power to me. I absolutely do love Roger DeGarge's performance. And number one, my all-time favourite actor to ever play the master. And it has to be Mr. Anthony Ainley. Yes, this is my favourite incarnation of the master. It is is brilliant. Now, this is the longest actor to play the role of the Master from 1981 to 1989 in seasons 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 26. Seven seasons. He's it's, it's brilliant. I absolutely love every single one of his stories. Yes, people think, oh, he's just the pantomime version of the Master. But I think it's a lot more than that. I really do enjoy his performance as the Master. It's brilliant and stuff. I just really do enjoy his performance. So that is me ranking every single incarnation of the Master from worst to best. Let me know who is your all-time favourite incarnation of the Master. And please, please let me know if any of you have actually listened to James Dulfess's version of the Master in the first Doctor Adventures and the second Doctor story and the seventh Doctor story. Because I really do want to know what kind what kind of Master I'm diving into. Is it an early incarnation than the ones we kind of see? I think he's the first Incarnation of the Master. I'm not too sure. I'm really looking forward to getting the hands on the two Masters when that comes through the post. I'm really looking forward to that. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share. And join for more awesome Doctor Who content.